What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to add levels to our project. Okay, so in order for you to add level, so you need to go to elevation view or section view. Because as you can see from the architecture tab, if you check out the datum panel here, you can see the level is disabled. By the way, the shortcut is LL. So you use a section view or an elevation view. So when adding levels, you can create associated plan views. Okay, so let's do this. So since we are on the floor plan, so we need to go to, let's say I go to the south elevation, this one, double click. And here's now the default levels that I have. So I have level one and I also have uh, level two. So let's say, for example, I'm going to rename level one. Okay, so I'll call this uh, ground floor. Ground, oops. Ground floor. Enter. There you go. As you can see, after I change the name of this one, it updates also the project browser here, the associated uh, plan view, right? You can also change the name of your level using the properties. So let's say, for example, I'm going to call this 02 floor. So I'm going to click this level here. And then instead of clicking that to change the name, you can also go from the instance property. Okay, so let's say I'll call this 02 floor or whatever name that you want and then enter. So that's it. So that's how you rename your level. Now we are going to add, let's say, two more levels. Okay, so I'm going to add uh, 03 floors. And then the next one is the roof floor. Okay, so to do that, so I'm going to select the level tool here or I can type LL for the shortcut. So let's click this. Okay, so you can see now here the contextual tab. So I have the draw panel here. So I have two options in creating my level. One is using line tool. The other one is using pick lines. So let's try both. So I'm going to select first line tool. And before you create your level, check out your options bar here. You can see that make plan view here is checked by default. So what will happen is if you create your level, it will create also the plan view or the associated level automatically. So let's say we create here our 03 floor. It will create also the 03 floor here on our project browser, the associated level. Now, if you just want to create a level as a reference or guide, you can uncheck the make plan view here so that it will not create the associated floor plan view of that level since you are just going to use it as your guide for some reason. Okay, and then you can also specify here the plan view types of your uh, level you can select from here right you can select view types to create if you want to create ceiling plan floor plan or structural plan let's leave it default so let's uh, let's just, just select cancel here and then the next thing that you can do when creating your level is specify the offset so let's say for example the offset here is 12 feet or let's yeah 12 feet let me just change this first. Let me just modify to cancel the tool first. Let me change this to 12 feet. So let's click that. Let's change that to 12 feet. Enter. There you go. So I want to create another, let's say, level. So let's click level, line tool, uh, offset here. So just type 12, enter. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to click at the end point, click. And then as you can see, there's now the offset distance. So if you move your pointer above your reference level, so you will be able to still create your level. Okay, so let's create that. Let's pick here. There you go. So as you can see, it creates the associated view for this, which is level three, and then also on the floor plan, also on the ceiling plan. Okay, and then let's rename this one. Let's call this 03 floor, enter. 
change there as well but i don't need the floor plans here and then the ceiling plan so i just right click that delete right click delete okay there you go so that's one way of creating your level let's create again another one so let's click level here so the other one here is peak lines okay so let's select the peak lines option make plan view again but for the plan view types so let's just select there our structural plan i don't want to create the ceiling and floor plan and then i'll select your okay that's it and then you need to specify here the offset as well so 12 feet 12 enter and then you hover your pointer to your reference level and there you go so make sure your pointer is at the right side because if you're going to move your pointer below the level that you will be creating will be going to be below zero three floor so like this one see if your pointer is below it will create the level below but if you move your pointer up it will create the level uh, the level above all right and then i'm just gonna pick to create it there you go and then modify change the name so let's say i'll just call this roof roof floor okay and then select here modify <clears throat> right and just a quick note um the default unit in our project is in imperial so if you want to change that for some reason you can go to the manage tab and then you can specify here the project setting our uh, project units or you can also type un as a shortcut so you can click that and then as you can see here the distance and length you click the length is set to feet and fractional inches same with the distance here so it's set to fit that's why when i type the distance for my level let's say i go back and create level so i use the line tool so here the unit is default is two uh, is in feet right so that's why if i want two feet i just need to type two and then if i enter automatically revit make it two feet so let's say for example you want 12 inches okay so what you can do is you can type here 12 and then you need to put inches okay in order for you to be able to create a 12 inches or one foot uh level so let's say for example you want uh six inches so just type six and then inches okay and then let's create one here so for example so i'm going to click here so that's your six inches right now if you want you can also do it like this so level and then the offset so let's say you want um uh six feet and eight inches something like that so what you can do is you can type here six and then is space eight so no need for you to type the symbol so the revit will read it as six feet eight inches because our current unit is in feet or in imperial so i'm gonna press enter and see what will happen see it converts automatically to six feet eight inches right so that's how the typing of the distances in revit works so if you know your current unit so just uh type the number and then you just press enter so let's say six uh five feet so you just type five there and then enter five inches so you need to put the inches symbol something like that okay and then select your modify now i don't need this i'm just gonna delete that and then i also need to all right okay so that's it so that's how you create now your your level okay 
So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.